Calibration of air blast sprayers for vineyards. Part 2. Measuring liquid flow. Part 1. Selecting and changing nozzles is also available on the internet. Both are available in US units. Pesticides are very dangerous. They may enter the body via skin, mouth or inhalation. Use the correct PPE as described on the label. Choose the correct nozzles for your application from nozzle charts. Determine the forward speed of your tractor and sprayer in the vineyard. Adjust the pressure of the spray at the manifold according to the charts. Measure the actual flow rate from each nozzle. And finally, check and repair any faulty nozzles and then recheck the flow. Before determining forward speed, fill the sprayer half full with water. This will provide you with the average weight of the sprayer. Measure out a course of 100 meters. Use a tape measure. Do not step or pace the course as everyone's gait is different. At the end of 100 meters, use the flagging tape as shown in the video. This will indicate to the tractor driver that he has reached the end of 100 meters. We need to check forward speed due to soil type, wheel slip, soil conditions, the weight of the sprayer and the terrain. Use a stopwatch to provide the time taken to drive over the course. Drive the tractor and sprayer noting the gear and speed and the time. Select the correct gear, set the engine revs to provide 540 revs at the PTO then as the tractor approaches the first flag, start the stopwatch. As the front tire of the tractor approaches the second flag, stop the stopwatch. Note the time taken to go over the course the gear used and the engine speed. A simple formula allows you to calculate forward speed. Meters travelled times 3.6 divided by the time taken in seconds. An alternative is to purchase a handheld GPS device for around $100 which will provide you with your forward speed. For calibration of nozzles, set the pressure at the manifold using the pressure regulating valve. Note the pressure regulating valve and the pressure gauge. Turn the pressure regulating valve to des the desired pressure as stated in the nozzle chart. Cornell uses the following methods, attaching hoses to each nozzle. There are five methods to be described. Method one is to use a teat cup liner from a milking machine unit. You can clearly see the teat cup liner fits over the nozzle tip. Method two is to use a clamp. This provides a very secure method of attaching hoses. Method three is a very simple seal system. Method 4 is our preferred method. This is to use hoses attached to the nozzles via hose clamps. Note the long hoses falling to the ground. Method 5 is to purchase a flow meter which provides direct reading in litres per minute. Next, with a stopwatch, time the flow from each nozzle for 60 seconds. If flow rate is small, use a graduated cylinder. If flow rate is large, 
use larger containers to collect the output. The next series shows you video of the actual calibration process. Here you see the operator using hose 1 into container number 1. Container number 2 is connected via the hose to nozzle number 2. The liquid flows from the sprayer through the hose and goes into the container for exactly one minute. Note the operator has a stopwatch in one hand. Each container is clearly labelled and numbered. Hose number 4 from nozzle number 4 is being placed in container number 4. Place all the containers in the grey plastic bin and take them to a level area. You clearly see the five containers placed on a level surface next to a measuring cylinder. Pour the water from the container into the measuring cylinder. Note the measurement. The operator is using clean water but is also using protective clothing, rubber gloves and in this case a Tyvek suit. It's imperative that you take protective clothing as the sprayer may be contaminated on the outside even though the tank is clean inside. Repeat the process for the left hand side of the sprayer. Record the volume from each nozzle on a simple chart. This will show you the imbalance between left and right hand sides and the total flow rate. Any nozzle that is plus or minus 10% of the manufacturer's value should be replaced. Use a simple formula to convert the liters collected into liters per minute. Part 1 of this video, Selecting and Changing of Nozzles, is available on the internet. The following websites will provide information on good pesticide application techniques and nozzle selection. The video was made at Cornell University in New York State.